already. I just well, be trying to help. <laughs> I just and, still be able to help. You you do, man. You you help a lot, man. And you really are helping a lot, uh, especially with the topic we were just talking about uh, with Black Panther. And uh, I'm really proud of you, my brother. And I'm going to just you. give you your shine, man, because you're still just doing your thing. I got this little bonus thing, uh, article, or uh, excuse me, excuse me, topic right here from E-Man. This is from Block Club Chicago. It says, Citywide will recast a child petition. A Chicago film critic hopes to keep Black Panther hero alive after Chadwick Boseman's death. E Emmanuel Noy said, said, I thought that said white supremacists, said white superheroes <laughs> like Batman and Spider-Man, I live the actors who play them. Why wouldn't T'Challa, the number one way to kill a legend is to stop, stop killing the story. This, uh, as we close out the show today, man, if you just want to speak on this real quick, you know, just to always keep it going, because I'm going to cut this section out and make it a separate video. But just again, remind yeah. the people out there the importance of this, man, and why we should, you know, recast T'Challa. Yeah. Hey, look, um, it's real simple. I mean, we can't sit here and talk about how iconic Chadwick is, how important the role of T'Challa is, and then prematurely cut off their story. You don't know what T'Challa is going to be like as a king. You don't know what he's going to be like as a husband, as a father, as a warrior. We don't know anything because his story got cut short or potentially will be cut short. So, you know, um, if we're going to sit here and talk about, yo, we want this character to really mean something, T'Challa should, he should continue. The story should continue. We should have to, we should have just as many T'Challas as we have Spider-Man, Batman, and Superman. And the thing is, the only reason those characters are ever popular in pop fiction is because they've been recast. You don't hear nobody under the age of 30 without Googling talk about mantis and i'm not talking about mantis from guardians of the galaxy i'm talking about mantis from uh by carl lumley you know you ain't never talk about it because it hasn't been recast we don't talk about meteor man enough because it hasn't mm -hmm. been recast you lose those characters over time when you stop telling their story and i'm like yo you but we just had three spider-man we about to get multiple batman you know, with the flashpoint and all that. Why the hell can't we just like keep that going? I want I want Chadwick to be like our Michael Keaton, you know, for Batman. I want I want him to be like our Christopher Reeve for spy uh for Superman. Like that's how you actually preserve legacies and entertainment in Hollywood. It's not from retiring a jersey. That's why I said in the tweet, and people got this mixed up with uh cancel culture. When you retire characters, that is like canceling a TV show. When you stop mm -hmm. seeing those episodes, that means they got canceled. We don't need to do that with T'Challa. It's unnecessary. And more importantly, we need to make sure, or at least I'm imploring Marvel, can we not capitalize on Chadwick Boseman's death? This is why we got to stop tying actors to the roles. Because whatever you do to the role, you're doing to the actor. And it's problematic mm -hmm. as hell. You can't be sitting here, you know everybody's going into this movie wondering, how y'all gonna deal with uh, T'Challa? What are y'all gonna mm -hmm. do to celebrate Chadwick? So if you know mm -hmm. people are going in there, I don't care if you say you want to explore Wakanda, you want to uplift Shuri and all that. I don't care if you want to say that. That's not what people are going for. People are going to see what you want to do with that. And if the first thing you do is kick off this movie with a funeral so that we can celebrate and tribute him, you're literally making money off of his death. And that's not right, in my opinion. Especially when it's fiction y'all you can do whatever you want you can do so many damn stories you, we just got done talking about magic you know a, a multiverse and all that are they gonna kill thor they uplifting <laughs> jane foster are they gonna kill thor yeah. to uplift her if they not gonna play that substitution game with the others why we gotta do that i know it's hard especially as black culture that when we get something good we don't want to let it go but sometimes you have to let it go to let it grow. And that's what we need to do with recasting. If we want our kids, listen, I want our kids and their kids to, to see T'Challa, to see T'Challa and Storm. I want them to see T'Challa supporting Storm and Shuri. I need them to see black love and black representation and not just a bunch of black faces, but quality, leading, strong, powerful black roles all at the same time, you know? And again, just tell the stories. Just let them mm. tell the stories. Mm -hmm. The characters are bigger than the actors. The actors know this, but fans act like it's a crazy notion. 
That's not how they work. It's a job for them. Don't y'all want to see other actors get put on? We just got done praising Letitia Wright getting a raise. We just got done praising Winston Duke getting a raise. You don't think that that prime, meaty, potential role of T'Challa is going to come with a nice paycheck for another actor that's not named mm-hmm. Michael B. Jordan? Because there are other mm-hmm. talented black actors that exist? Oh, yes. Come on now. Right on. Let's not pigeonhole these black actors in these opportunities. Was nobody checking for Tom Holland before he became Spider-Man? He was doing backflips in his backyard. That's all he was doing before this. Nobody, and he, all his movies still don't do well unless he's Spider Man. Robert Downey mm-hmm. Jr. His whole career was tanking, oh, yeah. fresh out of jail, doing drugs and alcohol until he was Iron Man, and now he a top celeb. Chris Evans mm-hmm. was doing his thing. Now he's a household name because of a leading role of Marvel. Mm-hmm. Can we not take away the very first leading black role in the MCU <laughs> off the table? and give that to another black actor so that the other black actors I've told people this T'Challa's character was never created to be a side stone or a stepping stone he was created to be a cornerstone and I'm no architect but when you have a cornerstone you don't knock one down to build up another one you build alongside the cornerstones to be a solid foundation if and I know some people be like yo but there are other black superheroes. Why don't you just deal with them? Listen, ain't nobody what? saying we shouldn't talk about the other black superheroes. But what I'm saying is T'Challa is the gateway. If y'all mm-hmm. can't have the energy to back one of the biggest, most potentially uh, 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 promising characters in Marvel comics, <sighs> what makes you think that we just going to flock to any old other character? That's the thing. He's supposed to be like the black version of what Superman is for all superheroes, right? You look at other superheroes through the prism of Superman. He could do damn near everything and everybody else is like a derivative of him. That's what T'Challa was created to be. Positive, strong, black representation, a king, a ruler, a great man, et cetera, et cetera. He uplifts everybody else around him. So if we can't get behind that, yo, you really think we about to get behind everything else? How long ago was it? And Brandon, I think you reported on this. How long ago was it that we people were ready to turn on Shuri? Talking about recast Shuri because of her anti-vax rules and stuff. So what y'all mm. gonna do? Have a revolving door of a bunch of Black Panthers because can't nobody be satisfied? Come on, man. We're not trying to make Black actors expendable and replaceable. Because mm-hmm. white actors don't get that. <clears throat> white roles don't get that. Don't nobody sit here and champion for a 007 movie <clears throat> talking about it's just a mantle, because it is. You go see them James Bond movies because it's about the characters and not the mantle. That's all I got, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go off like that. but all Right on. I asked you, man. Well, I, I appreciate it, man. And uh, just got this last super chat right here from Derek Gaines. $20. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it, Derek Gaines. $20. Just wanted to show some love. And we, we really do. A- Thank you, man, because you're really keeping the lights on over here. And uh, it, it is greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to conclude our...